What's good? It's your boy Fanon. Okay, man. I'm gonna uh Frank Warren said something that I thought was interesting, man. I've seen a couple videos about it. I see some throw see, seen some people, you know, pitching fits about it. So I thought I would address it and give my thoughts on it. And also because it's closely connected to some uh videos that I did earlier this week that I think sent man, I would be shocked, man, if I didn't send maybe 30 AJ fans into cardiac arrest just from them being so ticked off that I have an opinion, an opinion different that, that doesn't suit with their opinions. But there's an article that came out, said Frank Warren says, Fury is now a bigger attraction than Joshua. Fury is now a bigger attraction than Joshua. Now this is the, and let me say this slowly, the opinion of Frank Warren. It is an opinion of Frank Warren. It is not Fanon's opinion. It is the opinion of Frank Warren. So I am letting you know the opinion of Frank Warren. After that, I will share with you my opinion of the circumstance. Okay. That is the issue. That is my statement or rather that is my thesis. Is it my thesis? No, it's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what Frank Warren said, and then I am going to tell you what I think of what Frank Warren said. There's some very slow people out there in the world who like to harass and write a lot of very vindictive messages, so I thought that I would walk through that part extra slow for you guys today. Now, this is what Frank Warren said, but before I do that, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we release more videos. And if you are subscribed, thank you for coming to the channel and supporting. And I hope to see you in our next live stream. We usually do them Monday through Friday, 10, 10 15, right around 10, 15 a.m. Central Standard Time. So this is the what he says. He's the people champ. He's the people's champion. Warren said of self self style Gypsy King. I think he's now a bigger attraction than Anthony Joshua. Whoever he fights next, if Tyson Fury fights in this country, it's going to be a sellout wherever he fights. At the moment, I'm talking to Shelly Finkel, who looks after Wilder, and we're trying to get a rematch together. Tyson only wants big fights. There are only two big fights out there. That's Wilder and that's Joshua. Joshua doesn't even want to fight him because he knows, because I think he knows he'll get beat. It would grip the country. One of those events that transcends the back pages. Everybody would be talking about it, said the promoter. Okay, that's what Frank Warren says. Okay, if you want to get all pissed off about it, go write Frank Warren. I am just telling you what he thinks. I will now tell you what I think. And if you want to get pissed off at me, complain about this. I did a video earlier this week where I, after I had received reports from the UK, not just one, but a few people sent me reports out of the UK and said, look, this is what Tyson Fury's numbers were. They were over 700,000. One person got them off of the Barb website. Another person got them, didn't come off of Barb. Also last week, Richard Schaefer, shout out to Barbershop Conversations, and you can go to his channel and see the video, was asked about reports that the fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury did over 700,000 pay-per-view buys in the UK. Richard Schaefer said he was aware of the report, but the most important thing was that it did more money than any fight that had any heavyweight fight that had happened in a long time and did more revenue than any fight that Anthony Joshua had done. Okay, that is all of the information that has been released or have been mentioned that I'm aware of talking about how successful Tyson Fury's fight was against Deontay Wilder when it aired in the UK. Okay. Now, does that support what Frank Warren is saying? If Frank, Frank Warren believes that 
where if he fight that he would be the Tyson Fury would be the biggest attraction no matter where he fought. But he only wants to fight no no matter where he fought in the UK. But he only wants to fight Wilder or Joshua. Now, clearly, well not clearly, it's my opinion that if Tyson Fury to were to fight Deontay Wilder in the UK, my suspicion is suspicion I'm not going to go try to do some advanced analytics on what the uh, exactly how many people bought tickets in Wembley and try to go interview everybody kind of, you know, try to do some advanced statistical model on it. Just licking my thumb and sticking it in the wind, sticking it in the air and seeing which way the wind blows tells me that it would do extremely, extremely well. Tyson Fury knows is known by the UK boxing public. He was the WBA, WBO, and IBF champion. And I do believe that other belt that people keep trying to throw in there, IBO, right? The IBO, IBF, WBA, I mean, WB, yeah, WBA and WBO champion, right? You can throw that IBO out of there. It doesn't count. But that's what he was. He was the first uh, UK fighter to put to get all of those belts to beat to go to Dusseldorf and beat Vladimir Klitschko. He is a known product. He also did something else. He had a pay-per-view against another very, very well-known fighter. He traveled over to the United States, put on a really good showing against uh, Deontay Wilder, other than winding up fat on, flat on his back, looking up at the ceiling a couple times. He might have won the fight. Matter of fact, According to the scorecards, if he hadn't got put flat on his back with both of his eyes closed, laid out unconscious before he got up, he would have won the fight. And I don't know of just my, like I said, you know, lick my thumb, stick it up in the air, try to see what which way the winds are blowing, wind is blowing. Um, most of the people that I know that come to my channel, and there's thousands of people that watch the videos that I do on them. So thousands. <laughs> They know the thousands of people that I've talked to that I've interacted with about it. The thousands of people that I've interacted about it all know who Tyson Fury is. So I do believe that what he says here is true. If the two fights, if you put the two, if you put two and two together and what he said, if Tyson Fury to fight to, were to fight Deontay Wilder in the UK, that that probably would be the biggest fight that could go off in the UK that didn't include those two guys. Also, if Tyson Fury fought Anthony Joshua, it would be about the biggest fight that you could have that didn't include that didn't include Deontay Wilder. Right. Or that Deontay Wilder could have somebody that didn't or, or any fight that didn't include one of those two guys. Same thing could be true, though. And this is where I disagree with Frank Warren. If Anthony Joshua fought Deontay Wilder, that fight would be bigger then it would be a bigger draw in the UK than any fight that didn't include both of those guys. Either one, they didn't include one of those guys, one or two of those guys. Hope I said that right, but you get my point. There's several fights that could happen over there in the UK that are huge fights. There is, and that was the original point of the videos that I did, the original reason that I even brought up pay-per-view pay uh, sales in the UK for Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. It was that there is now parity in the heavyweight division. Clearly, there's parity as far as name recognition and fan interest in the UK and in the world, or excuse me, within the heavyweight division. Deontay Wilder is a major player in the heavyweight division. Tyson Fury is a major player in the heavyweight division. Anthony Joshua is a major player in the universe in, in, in the heavyweight division. And it's time to start acting like, stop faking like they're not, like all three of them are not significant players in the heavyweight division. And that's the biggest problem that I have with, with the AJ fake fanboys that come to my channel. You guys want to hold on to some myth. You want to hold on to some, some reality that you, if it was a reality, if just assuming that it was a reality that that was ever the case that Anthony Joshua was just the man in the heavyweight division, it's not that anymore because those type of things do not remain stagnant. Other when a rising tide lifts all boats, 
the heavyweight division was depressed because the two best heavyweight fighters in the world during Vladimir Klitschko's time, and they even call it Vladimir Klitschko's reign over the heavyweight division. The truth of the matter is that Vladimir Klitschko never reigned over the heavyweight division because there was always another guy that had a chance to beat him. And that was his brother, Vitaly Klitschko. The marketing mechanisms and Vladimir Klitschko might have taken uh, Vitaly Klitschko took a step back to Vladimir Klitschko. But there was never a point in time where it was clear that Vladimir Klitschko was the best heavyweight in the world because there was always Vitaly Klitschko. But they just could not fight one another. We now are in a situation in the heavyweight division where that's not the case. They have to fight it out. And there isn't going to be any escape route for Anthony Joshua. The the escape routes have closed. He has to fight Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder needs to fight uh, Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury needs to fight Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua. There is parity in the heavyweight division. And as far as the financial situation, who knows what that is? I went back and forth with a channel that I used to respect. And I have to admit, I'm not respecting any more. We do not know what for sure what the pay-per-view numbers are for Anthony jo- for Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury in the United States. We don't know. All we have is a rumor of what they were and what they were trending for and what people believe that they will end out end off at. And that's all we know. There is not some official final number released for the pay-per-view numbers for Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury. They do not exist. Similarly, there are no final official re- numbers released by Skybox for any of Anthony Joshua's pay-per-views. None. The numbers that are on Barbed are estimations. They are not the actual numbers. So if we want to talk about proof and evidence about what numbers people have, then you can't use any of these guys' numbers. You can't use Anthony Joshua's numbers. You can't use Deontay Wilder's numbers. You do not know what the official numbers were in the United States. We do not know what the official number the, the official numbers for Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury were in the United States. We do not know without we do not know what the what the official numbers are for them in the UK. We do not know for sure beyond we do not we know we don't know what the official pay-per-view numbers were for Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko versus Carlos Takam versus Joseph Parker or versus Alexander Povetkin. We do not know them because Sky Sports has never released them. We also do not know how much money they have made because unless you have a profit and loss statement that was given to you by Eddie Hearn, in Matchroom, unless you have access to their profit and loss statements, unless you actually have the, the actual receipts of the checks that were written, you do not know and there's nowhere on the internet that you're going to find them. Same thing goes for Tyson Fury's numbers against Deontay Wilder. At the end of the day, we know one thing for sure amongst people that are boxing fans, because although I do not, I'm losing all kind of respect for you, for, you, for people to behave like you guys are behaving. We can acknowledge this. Every one of you know who Deontay Wilder is. Every one of you know who Tyson Fury is. Every one of you know who Anthony Joshua was, is. And every one of you have seen Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua's fights. At the end of the day, the thing that should matter for real boxing fans is who do you think should win the fight and let the fights happen? But with Deontay Wilder, I'm not going to stand up here and demand that Tyson, that Deontay Wilder stop and not try to pursue one of those significant fights just to appease Anthony Joshua fans because I don't believe, that you, as when they call him calling his bluff, I don't believe Anthony Joshua wants to fight. I don't believe he's willing to fight Tyson Fury. And I don't believe he's willing to fight Deontay Wilder. 
I believe that he and Eddie Hearn, just like some of you guys, are still living back in 2000 in July, or is it May of 2017? Right, where you where AJ standing on the stage, got all kind of, you know, ah, I just took over the world. Well, guess what, man? You took over the world and now you lost a couple countries. Okay? Some other people rose up. A cat rose up in the West. His name was Deontay Wilder. He rose up in the West. And you got a guy, you know, the once and maybe future king of the UK boxing, Tyson Fury right there. Deal with right now. Let's make the fights happen. But don't throw out a bunch of numbers that you can't validate for Anthony Joshua and then get on other people about numbers that they can't validate for Tyson Fury and by validate and Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. And when I mean validate, I mean validate as in show me the receipts. We are the boxing public. We are boxing fans. We don't have access to that information. All we have access to is what promoters tell us and what network or media outlets report. That's it. We don't have the actual numbers because we don't have the actual receipts. We are not financial auditors that were hired to go through the books. And it is what it is. But we can tell you this for sure. If the mother, if the dude would get in the ring, you would know for sure what happened. For all the people that say Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson, lost to Tyson Fury, I can immediately, objectively prove to you that that's not the case. We can watch the fight and we can watch what happens at the end where the referee says draw. That is a that is something that is an actual fact. How much money Deontay Wilder made, how much money Tyson Fury made, how many people watched Anthony Joshua, we don't know that. How many tickets were given away in the Staples Center, how many tickets were given away in O2 Arena, how many tickets were given away in Wembley Stadium, we don't know. That's a bunch of, that's a bunch of, ooh, he said that, so let me tell you he said that. You don't know, which is when I did my video why I said specifically Richard Schaefer said this. I don't know whether it's true or not. I can't validate it. But I'll tell you this, in my opinion, Richard Schaefer's word is just as good as Eddie Hearn's words are. If you don't believe that the bar that the numbers associated with a fight on that uh, with an event on that on the same day that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fought are actually the numbers for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, I can say okay, but I can also tell you that the numbers that are associated on Skybox on Barb that are reported for the fight the on the same date that Alexander Povetkin and Anthony Joshua fight, I can tell you for sure those aren't the numbers because Sky doesn't report them. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander, my friends. Let the fight happen and stick and let's stick to if we can talk all this good talk is, you know, fun, who's ducking who, who's doing what, who's doing what. But at the end of the day, man, ain't nobody the king of the heavyweight division right now. And that's what I said. There is no A side. There is no A side. Anthony Joshua, in my opinion, is the only one of these three guys that are not willing to fight the other two. He was the cat that thought he was the king. And he found out, got dog, these other, it became the Game of Thrones. That's what it happened. He thought he got coronated like Joffrey. <laughs> if you guys watch Game of Thrones, he got coronated like, go- like, like Joffrey. He's sitting up there like, yeah, I'm the king of the world. And all of a sudden, you got people standing. You got a guy in the West saying, no, I'm the king. And then you got a guy who says, hold on, man. Those are my belts you're holding. And I believe I beat the guy in the West. I'm the king. The only way that we're going to settle this out is by battling it out. Anyway, and it is what it is. And with that, hey, man, you can take it or leave it because that's my opinion. And with that, I'm out. Peace.